Good morning, Tom Buell here coming to you with a Make Today Great message from sunny South Florida. I hope this message finds you well. Today I'm going to share a book that a good friend of mine, Sean Wander, was kind enough to drive and meet me and give to me. And I want to thank him for giving me this book, The Afterlife of Billy Fingers, How My Bad Boy Brother Proved to Me There's Life After Death by Annie Kagan. So this is the book that I'm going to chat with you about today and highly recommend that you grab a copy of on Amazon or wherever your favorite book uh, finding place is. Uh, but this book, as I mentioned, my friend Sean, who had a tragedy affect his family a little over a year and a half ago, I believe, um, knew that I had lost my parents at, at young ages, 52 and 56, um, and just was so moved by this book, he was delivering it to me, saying, here, when you get a chance, take, uh, take a look at this. And he's like, be warned, once you get into it, it'll pro you'll probably read it in one sitting, because it's just that much of a page turner. Well, he was absolutely right. Um, uh, long story short, um, Annie lost her brother, Billy, um, in a, he was hit by a car and killed. Um, but he was kind of a bad boy, all sorts of problems, all sorts of difficulties, uh, addictions, and just a, a crazy life. But uh, he spoke to Annie after he passed away to complete this book. And it was just, it's a really interesting journey uh, of, of Billy sharing with Annie what's happening and answering her questions. And, and it's just brilliantly delivered. So um, if you ever had any questions about uh, after death, all that fun stuff, it's kind of been interesting for me. Because not only did I lose my parents, um, but I had a near-death experience back in 1998 where I was in a vehicle that rolled four times. I was ejected from the sunroof, and I had an out-of-body experience, that near-death experience, seeing myself laying in the field, pulled up into the bright lights, and walking towards the doors, even though it's all pure white, white light, walking towards the doors. And halfway to the doors, I stopped and I said, this isn't how it's supposed to end. I know you had more for me to accomplish. Send me back. I had been helicopter lifted from that scene and had a respirator. By the time I, I became conscious, uh, I was in intensive care unit and had a respirator breathing for me. And the only first memory I have of that is it's super painful to have a respirator breathing for you when you can breathe. Um, but anyhow, I'll get into that story some other time. But for the meantime, go grab your book, uh, or grab this book, The Afterlife of Billy Fingers by Annie Kagan. Uh, it is a page turner. Uh, you'll laugh, you'll cry. Uh, tears of joy though so enjoy it I look forward to uh, hearing your comments on this book and uh, until we speak again make today great